13 and three, Cash Wilkie. He is set against the 11 and 10, Zach Jaconis. Zach Jaconis hailing out of Washington Township, New Jersey, another Northwestern grappler out of the East Coast, out of New Jersey. He's coming off a victory by major decision against Rutgers. And in his previous year, he had eight victories as a true freshman, but Cash Wilkie, of course, has a very qualified resume as he heads into this one. Cash Wilkie went, winning his first Big Ten championship this, this season. Was round of 12 last year at the NCAA championships at 197. Wilkie, as you mentioned, the seventh ranked athlete at the 197 point. One win shy of all American honors was Wilkie last year. And he was a Midlands champion. One of the five the Hawkeyes sent out. Wilkie looking to build that lead for the Hawkeyes that are up 27 to two. Uh, team point deduction coming after the 174 pound match. And now picks the leg up, looks to kick out the left and does. Takedown goes to Cash Wilkie. In control is Wilkie. and head out. There's a technical violation on Wilkie for locked hands. It's gonna put our score at two to one with Chaconis going down again. And Chaconis is up and out there quickly. Less than a minute to go, and we're back on our feet. Two to two after the escape and the technical violation. Yeah, in under 20 seconds, he was able to tie this one back up at two and two. With 45 to go here in the first. Wilkie going for the single leg, but kicked back out. And the return unsuccessful from Jaconis. Twenty to go. And getting low, going for the single leg, hooks up and makes it two. It has not equated two points yet, as unable to free his left leg is Wilkie. A nice shot by Wilkie there, unable to score though. Misdirection low single. Went to the right and then to the left. That was that was slick. So now we're in period two at the 197 point. We're tied up, a takedown for Wilkie. And two points coming from an escape. And a violation hands of Chaconis. There's a control of Matt call on the Iowa bench for uh, go, approaching the table. The kind of coach we've expected from Ramsey, high energy. Yeah, he was not happy with the referee there. Uh, Northwestern was pulling on the toe a little bit, you know, trying to protect his wrestler. Can't blame him. You'd think any coach would do that for their athlete. And quickly gets out, right back to his feet and escape. It took a matter of seconds. It's 3 2 now in favor of Wilkie. Clock has 3, Northwestern 2. Wilkie's another one of the Iowa wrestlers that coaches would like to keep his pace high and keep building his lead throughout the match. He scores quickly, but sometimes he, he slows down towards the end of the match. Wilkie has one takedown so far, almost had one towards the end of the first but the time elapsed before any 
ruling was given. Keeping his distance is Jaconis, and shooting right inside is Wilkie. Jaconis not really having any offensive attempts so far this match, but Wilkie only to be, being able to convert on one leg attack. Jaconis had eight wins as a true freshman. He then redshirted. And shooting for that right leg was Wilkie. Stallmate, though, charged against Jaconis. Thirty to go here in the second. Score by either wrestler would be huge, either for Wilkie going up by three or Chaconis could take the lead here in the end of this second period. Twelve seconds to go here in the second. And with three seconds left, both men gonna ride things out until the third. Yeah, third period here starting, three to two lead for Cash Wilkie. And Chacona selects to choose bottom. Chaconis is up and out, that knots our score at three. Wilkie now looks to enter back into the collar and elbow. Both men fighting neutral. He's had a couple of those efforts where he's Shot down for the left or right leg, and Chaconis has done a great job in falling out and keeping himself free. Warning for uh, hands to the face. The referees are really trying to make that a point of emphasis here in the last half of this season. Protect the athletes, keep them out of the face, keep them out of the eyes, um, promote action too. Thinking about inside was Jaconis, but he's kicked back out. It's not up here. As going inside for the double leg takedown, converts it back to two, and now trying to gain leverage is Wilkie. Does he get the takedown? Not, not yet. yet. Scrambling the close to that. No ruling. No score there. Chaconis was close to the neutral danger zone, though. We have a challenge by Iowa. And I don't think the official has seen it yet. He's going to let it go now. And you can hear Coach Brands yelling his appeal for neutral danger. And the most important thing when coaches do that is not only just to ensure that the official knows they're there and they're going to be vocal, but also for their team, that they're going to fight for their guys and ensure that they'll do what they can, at the very least, to stand up for their wrestlers. And Absolutely. We're seeing the, that there. The coaches, they stand by their wrestlers, and they know they'll fight for them, and that's a big part, building that coach-athlete relationship. Quick to his feet is Jaconis, and it's now a one-point contest. Seen a lot of action here in the end of the second, third period. Yeah, it's a constant scramble, but the two points go to Cash Wilkie as he's able to lay out and hook those legs to extend the lead to seven to four. He's got Chaconis flat now as he builds his base and sits out. And now 15 seconds to go. Looks to be in control with, as you mentioned, just now over 10, min 10 seconds rather left. A great challenge from Brands and a strong performance from Wilkie. You see it there on the mat return. Locks this one up for the Hawkeyes. Lead extends to 30. A standing ovation is had by the Hawkeye faithful as Cash Wilkie notches his 15th victory. But you have to give credit to Zach Jacobus. Someone going in unranked against the seventh ranked opponent. Held his ground and had a very good performance today.
Yeah.